Welcome to the Crazy Hat Chemist. So here we go. Today we're going to be talking about stoichiometry and dimensional analysis. And specifically, we're going to be talking about the mole today. This is our first video in a set of 23. And that is a very special number, especially when we're talking about the mole. Therefore, 23 videos for this entire unit. Okay, so here we go. Bam! Okay, first of all, the word stoichiometry. Okay, that is such an important word in chemistry, and it really, the AKA of this, and otherwise known as, is dimensional analysis. Okay, we're going to have this flow chart right here, and this flow chart is something that you're going to use repeatedly over and over again. I'm going to have it many times during this entire lecture with all these 23 videos. Okay, so it's going to be really important. We're going to use it so many times that you're actually going to memorize it just by the frequency of use. Okay, and I have two little diagrams here. One is an airplane uh, uh, in Denver, Colo Denver, Colorado, right there. That's a hub of where these airplanes are flying out of. And then I got a bicycle wheel right over there. And the hub of that bicycle wheel has all the spokes emanating from it, and they go to the rim of the wheel. So if you look on that flow chart that I have there in the rectangular box where it says one mole, that's going to be our hub for stoichiometry. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I'll come back to that very frequently throughout this lecture. So here we go. Bam. The mole. So we're going to first figure out what this means by describing amounts without numbers. We use the following term. So, for example, a pair right here. I have a pair of graduate cylinders. Perfect. Okay. A dozen. I've got a dozen pins. That's 12 of them. Woohoo! Okay, a ream. I've got a ream of paper. That's 500 sheets of paper. So you should understand that a pair means two, a dozen means 12, and a ream means 500. The mole is Avogadro's number. And what is Avogadro's number? 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, therefore 23 videos in this series. Gotcha. Okay, here's our definition of the mole. The mole is the number of carbon-12 atoms in 12 grams of unbound carbon-12 in its arrest energy electronic state. The mole is equal to the number of atoms in the atomic mass of any element if it is expressed in grams. So, here we go. There's Mr. Avogadro. Hey, I just met you. Then this might be crazy, but here's my number. So give me a call sometime, baby. Okay, comparisons to the mole. This number is expanded out so that without exponential notation, you see all the zeros in it. Okay, this number is read as the following. 602 sextillion, 214 quintillion, 150 quadrillion. Wow. And here is the mole to more precision. You'll never be using it to this precision, more than likely, unless you're a scientist doing research. Okay? So, the mole is such a large number that I have a very difficult time figuring out really how big that number is. I got a pair. I know what that means. I have a tangible object. I got 12, a dozen. I got a tangible object. I can count out 12. Even a ream with 500. I can count out 500 sheets of paper. Even thousands and tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands can be the cost of bicycles, cars, homes, you name it. Okay? But even in the millions, I have a hard time, and uh, certainly, that's certainly not my salary as a teacher, and even in the billions is a very large number. So, here are some comparisons to this number. Avogadro's number of water molecules has a volume of 18 cubic centimeters, or 18 milliliters. That is, I have a graduated cylinder right here, graduate cylinder, and it has 18 milliliters in there. If you were to count the number of water molecules in here, there would be 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd water molecules right in this. Okay. Avogadro's number would be enough marshmallows to cover Europe 1,500 miles deep. There's Europe, just in case you are curious. Okay, And all the oceans on Earth could be filled 45 times over with Avogadro's number of water drops. Now recall that a water drop has more than one water molecule in it. It has many water molecules in one water drop. Okay, The number of Avogadro's paper clips would stretch along the diameter of the Milky Way 20 times over. Oh my gosh. Okay, And 
If Avogadro's number of pennies were distributed evenly between everyone on Earth, then each person would re have received $153 billion U.S. dollars. This little bit of copper right here has a mass of 63.453 grams, and also this mass of copper has Avogadro's number of atoms in it. Super cool. Okay, so do you have mole problems? At our school, we do, as you can see. That's a mole. So, if you do have mole problems, call Mr. Avogadro. That's area code 916-602 and 1023rd. That was... So, howdy partner. There's a new sheriff in town, as you can see with my star. So, that was the first video in a series of 23 on stoichiometry and dimensional analysis. I can't wait to be doing more. Here we go. Bam!